Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike with Fowler Family Farm. Today, we're gonna work in this closet right behind you guys. I've never finished out the two closets here in the hallway. Obviously, I've never finished the hallway. See, it's still sheet, just sheetrock, hadn't even paper textured. Um, but that's because we never really decided if we wanted to tape and texture this or do what we've actually decided to do now, which is we're going to like, probably from here down, we're gonna do sheet metal. And then from here up, we're gonna do a, like a shiplap. But today's video, or a portion of today's video, is starting to finish out this closet. As you see, you can see the attic. <laughs> so I never even put in sheetrock here. So I've got that piece cut. We're gonna add it right now. And then I still have to put some backing pieces here so that I can tie sheetrock into this wall. This wall's good, and this wall's good. Actually, I'll have to put some backing here too because I have nothing to screw into. If I was to put sheetrock right up against this wall, going this way, I could screw in here, here, but I have nothing to screw in here. So I'll have to put a piece of, you know, two by four here coming out so I can screw into it here. This wall here, I can screw in here, here, but nothing here. So I'll have to do the same in that corner. So we're gonna work on a little bit of that today. I won't get that done, obviously. Um, that's a couple of day project because you have to tape and texture it after that as well, which I'm not gonna do a whole lot of texture in there because it's a closet. So you don't have to texture it, you know, like you do your living room, bedrooms and stuff like that. But I will do some texture. This closet here that we're working on is going to be a coat closet. So we're gonna hang our jackets here and then like a vacuum maybe below it. And then above it, we're just gonna do shelves, probably three shelves here. This closet here is gonna be our linen closet for this bathroom. So this, well, it already is. I mean, you can see we have towels in here and sheets and things like that. But this will have a finished cabinet look to it. So it'll be a normal linen closet with like cabinet style doors. This will actually have a small door on it, a two foot door. All right, so I cut this uh, piece, hopefully it fits. I always seem to measure my cuts for sheetrock. I'm usually, I cut like a little big. So I usually have to go back in and trim some off. I tried to avoid that this time. We'll see how close I get. Okay y'all, we are gonna see how this does. I really can't get you any closer inside the closet. Okay, y'all, that was a little easier than I thought. And actually, I think I put, cut it perfect on the first try. Okay, y'all, it is in. Fit like a glove. There's a little bit of space on the right, you can kind of see there. That'll be covered up with the other piece of sheetrock coming down the wall, so we'll be fine there. So before I start on the walls, I need to go ahead and get my backing pieces to, to put right in here, and then right over here on this side. Okay, y'all, I'm about to show you this, but Tony wants to know, who are these people? Look at that, y'all, that's old school. Did we even live out here when we did that picture? Mm -mm. I don't even think we moved to the farm yet. Brendan hadn't gone to the military yet. No, no, he had. No, I don't think he had. I think he was just about to go to the oh, military. Oh, yeah, that's right. Like a month later, he went a to the A month later, yeah. So Brendan was probably 21, and he's 29 now. Braxton's 18. He's probably, what, 9 or 10 there? Yeah. Nine? Yeah, he still loved me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He's you love me. You. I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, brings back memories, doesn't it? That's when he was Braxy, though. Yeah, that's when he was Brax. Braxy. Old Braxy. That was Braxy. All right, y'all. So, I had to cut my 2x4 
because obviously I have wires already and you can't put your two by four through that wire. So my two by four is gonna go like this, all the way up, see it up there, I'm gonna screw it in. And then I'll do the same thing for this bottom piece. I'll pull it up a little bit and screw it in. I remember we fought this day. I didn't record. Oh yeah, we did. <laughs> we did. So y'all, Tanya just said we fought this day, this day of pictures. We were all in an argument. Oh, we were all. Look arguing. at that face. He yeah. was like, I "Can't believe they're making me do yeah, this." Yeah, Braden was. Just Braden was really unhappy. <laughs> Brennan was unhappy. He wanted to go see his girlfriend at the time. Braden was like, "Why aren't we doing this? Why aren't we all fighting?" I don't even remember what we were Braxton talking about. Braxton was the only happy one. Yeah. And he was like, <sighs> Yeah. Why is everybody whining? Why is everybody yelling? <laughs> yeah. Why are we all fighting? Why is everybody yelling? Let's just have fun and take pictures. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember that day. Not a happy day. All right, let's get started. I can't. I gotta. It turned out being a good day. After, after pictures, it was good. It was fun. It was fun after pictures. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, like in the middle of pictures, mm -hmm. we all were like. We got a little better. This little is easier. stupid. We're just gonna. Okay, y'all. Hopefully, y'all can see some of this. Do you want me to hold it or anything? Yeah, you can kind of hold it and kind of show what I'm doing, I guess. I don't have to go all the way down on this one because there's True. two by four down here that we can screw into. <laughs> So what we're trying to do is go around that cord. Yeah, total. Oh. Okay, so that's in. Now I can screw my sheetrock into that. Now I just need to do the top one here and the two sides over here. Yep. We'll be done. Yeah, but you know what? It's not put together halfway. It's solid, right? Oh, it's solid. <laughs> this is just it's a little solid. overkill, right? Yeah. This is just as good as if everything we've ever done in this house is a little overkill. Yeah, but hey, nothing's, nothing's that's all right. done cheaply. It's all good. I hope River's not trying to sleep. He's not here. Oh, okay. Where are they at? Mimos? Oh, okay. We're leaving in huh? a minute. We're supposed to be leaving in a few minutes. I don't know. So we have to go to the doctor today, y'all. Me, Tanya, and Mimo. And it's oh. going to take us an hour to get there, so, so we gotta have to leave, leave early. We probably won't get to eat until after. Yep. If y'all have been keeping track, I've been telling y'all that I had to diet and lose weight and exercise because my cholesterol score was terrible. Guess what? I lost 18 pounds total, got retested, and everything's good. Everything fell back below normal, or I'm sorry, everything fell back below elevated, so it's all back in the normal range. But we're not going back to the way we were eating, no, right? No, we're, we're gonna keep eating right. Uh, like for instance, my joints were feeling really good when I was on this diet, and me and Tanya have kind of splurged over the last couple of days. My joints hurt already, <laughs> so we're gonna make sure we keep eating correctly. Um, and my blood pressure was 118 over 72. Wow, that's wow. really good. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, y'all, both sides are done now. This is in, and so now you see I can screw into this with sheetrock. Sheetrock can go right here and screw into that. And sheetrock will go here, this way. So the reason this is bigger is because sheetrock will stay here first and that'll leave me about three quarters of an inch to use for this for sheetrock as well. So we should be good. Looks good. So we have to run to the doctor and that's gonna be about a three hour process, well, actually about a five hour process, including our drive time. Yeah, I didn't realize she made our appointments one hour apart. So well, it may not be that long. Two thirty, three thirty. It just depends on how fast she can get us yeah, in and sit okay. us down and okay. get us going. Exactly. So it's not a normal. You know, you wait for the doctor because she's got other clients. Like she, she's got three clients for the next three hours. Right. That's basically. Yeah. This is not your normal everyday doctor. This is a whole food, whole health type doctor, mm -hmm. or something. So it's a little different than your normal everyday physician. Um, basically, she's gonna give us what kind of vitamins we should be taking, what kind of whole food, like natural foods that we should be eating 
to fix what's wrong with this or and the right type anything. of vitamins yeah. which just happen to be the type of vitamins that the college at Braxton wants to go through for chiropractic yeah they sell them. that they sell yeah. um, well they're a distributor I yeah. mean you can't get them just anywhere chiropractic offices pretty much only. right yeah all right so we'll finish up some of this later like I said this won't be one video this will be multiple videos but real, real quick I am going to put a picture in of what this closet should look like. I thought it was gonna be a coat closet. I'm wrong. Tanya corrected me. It's a me. linen closet. It's it's a vacuum slash cleaning supply and then linen closet. Yeah. So right behind us, that mud room area is what we're using for jackets. Yes. So this is not a jacket closet. I right. thought it was. I thought it was a coat closet. I'm gonna keep my wrong. vacuum here and then I'm gonna keep sheets and towels and blankets and and the little shelves on the side next to the vacuum is gonna be cleaning stuff also. Yes. Like. yes, yes. So you yes. put your cleaning stuff there. So yes. and I'm sweating so I'm gonna get off this video so I can clean up before we leave. So yeah, I can put my well, mop in here too. Yes. Oh. And your buckets and all that. Sweet. Your mop okay. bucket. Yeah. So I'll come right back to y'all though. Y'all won't it'll be maybe tomorrow but y'all think it's like instantaneous. Okay, y'all, we're back at the closet. It's the next day, and I'm gonna start sheetrocking it. The the walls, you know, I've already sheetrocked the ceiling. I've added my backing material, my two by fours to screw into, so that my sheetrock has something to screw into. Everything's good to go, but I don't have full sheets of sheetrock, so let me show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, so this piece of sheetrock is the correct width. It's a little over two feet, but I don't have the length that I need. Um, it, this is a nine foot wall, so I don't have nine foot sheetrock. I have just bits and pieces of sheetrock. So I'm gonna use up all of what I have and then go buy a couple of more sheets to finish these two closets with. Cause I really do wanna get rid of all the scraps that I have. So it's gonna have, you know, I'm gonna have to, a little bit, a little bit more taping job to do. And you can kinda see I did it here too. You see these two pieces? Normally this is two four and a half sheets here but I, I had to use some spare sheets on the bedroom side so that I could use up all the sheetrock and not have any waste. That's kind of what I did in there as well. And I'm gonna do it in here. All it is is just, it just requires you to do more taping and texturing, or not texture, but it ha you have to just do more taping, um, which does mean that you have a more of a chance to expose your tape job because that's what people will see if you don't do a very good job taping the walls off uh, and it's not real smooth people can see where your joints are in your sheetrock so this is a closet it's going to have shelves in it so i'm not worried about people looking real fine and seeing joint pieces so we're going to get this done real quick and i'll bring you guys along uh, i'll show you some of it i'm not going to show you all of the sheetrock job but you'll see me do some of it by the way y'all see these paper towels this is Rhineland writing she, she thought she wrote 75, but she wrote the seven backwards, but that's the passcode to get in the closet. And she did it here too. This is 85. And the passcode to get in her room is 85. I'm not sure what this one is. M-E-I-N-I. But that's the password to get into the garage. Okay, y'all, I'm not sure what all y'all get to see here. Hopefully it's not just my butt. Well, y'all, I don't know how much of that y'all got to see. <laughs> Probably just a lot of me. I do have a pretty good gap up there. That means the, uh, I'm not real level up in that area. Or the sheetrock cutoff that I'm using here is just not very straight in itself. But again, I'm not worried about that gap up there. I'll tape and texture that up there. You're not gonna really notice it. Um, this has got a small gap here, but it's gonna be covered up with the next piece of sheetrock. It's gonna be right here, so it'll cover it up. The gap over here is just a little bit bigger, but again, it'll be covered up. You know what, I bet my uh, piece of sheetrock here I've got is not very straight, not very level. Okay, I'm gonna finish screwing this piece in. I don't have Tanya here to help film while I'm working because she's at the dentist. So I'll screw this in real quick and then I'll bring you guys back in for a closer look. All right, y'all, there you have it. It is secure, it ain't going nowhere. I just gotta do obviously the rest here and then the two sides and then some tape and texture okay y'all i'm at my limits on that closet 
can only work in such a small space for so long and then you have to come out here in this big beautiful world and uh, unwind from the small world so this is kind of funny and silas doesn't stay up here by the house very often but old big boy here has been up at our house for the last week and a half two weeks because millie and aria are both in heat so he has been hanging out here, so that means we cannot take our eyes off of those two, those two girls. We do not want to get either one of them pregnant. Obviously, I don't want to get Arya pregnant. She is way too small for Silas's size puppies. You know, she would that would probably kill her, to be honest with you. And Millie, we just got rid of her dogs. We definitely don't want to get her pregnant. <laughs> Actually, Brennan does not want to get Millie pregnant again unless he finds a purebred golden retriever to put her with. All right, y'all, so we are gonna come out here, talk some chickens and goats. I am gonna have to add water to the uh, Premier One chickens and feed them. So they ran out of water probably last night. Yeah, they're dry. So they had water yesterday for sure. So I'm not worried about them being dehydrated, but they probably ran out right before they got put up, maybe this morning. You hungry? Yeah. Go eat. All right, two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. So I still have 11. So I have not lost a chicken. All those feathers are just molting, I'm sure. And remember, I still have two chickens out there, a death layer and a black ostrilop. And then I also have two hens over here that are just loose. Uh, I just leave them loose. I'm kind of doing an experiment on them. If they last and survive like they are, I could probably let most of my chickens free range, you know, Donald's group just free range and there's probably nothing that's gonna get them. Uh, those two hens and that rooster have been out and about for a good four months on their own. And I don't even feed them. I mean, they eat some leftover scraps here and there. They find their own food. I mean, they are definitely foragers and they definitely free range. And I do find eggs from them every once in a while but I don't know where they're consistently laying eggs. The goats just showed up too, so they probably want us to come talk to them for a little while. Water. We need water. All right, so I did water the roosters because that water hose was already hooked to that outlet. So before I unhooked it, I went ahead and watered the roosters. All right, here, let's fill up this small one first. You know what? Let's empty that because that's pretty dirty. I'll scrub that one too and empty it. Yes, I, I clean that out every once in a while and I know chickens, they drink from dirty water all the time anyway, out in the wild. But my chickens are kind of healthy. And they're not used to drinking dirty water consistently all the time. So if I don't want them to get too sick, I better clean that out. So let me scrub that and clean it out real quick. Well, that's why it's dirty. You're standing in it. Okay, you're going to drink what you stand in? Okay, y'all, I've been looking for that scrubber. I cannot find it. No idea. I don't know where it's at, so we're going to go up to the house, see if I can find one up there somewhere. Hi, Don, Junior. Well, hello, Silas. You want a belly rub? Huh? Yeah? Oh, yeah, you bunch of big fat teddy bear. Yeah, oh, I know, buddy. Oh, I know, yeah. You stay away from Millie. All right, let's go find a scrubber. Well, hello, Mia. What do you got in your mouth? A stick? Oh, that's not a stick. That's a zip tie. Millie, no. Uh-uh. <laughs> Close call. Get up there. Silas is like, oh, hello. <laughs> okay, y'all, I cannot find anything else. So I'm gonna steal Tanya's sponge. She probably won't even notice. Silas, are you just waiting for your opportunity? You see her over there? She's just about done. So you can hang out with her here pretty soon. She's almost done with her uh, heat cycle. All right, y'all, let's clean these out. A little bit. Ooh, this is a good sponge. Let's 
gets things, oh, it's all, the sponge is all dirty already. Oh my God, that's nasty. The sponge is all green now. Quick and easy job. This fence is not on, by the way. All right, these are definitely clean now and good to go. Y'all got some clean water, just don't step in it. And don't scratch next to it. It'll stay cleaner. You're welcome, girls. Drink it all up. Well, y'all, I was going to show y'all the goats a little bit. But... I'm almost made to do something for her. So we're gonna get on the tractor and try to remove these four posts right here that are in her front yard. Okay, I moved the uh, four posts over here next to the house. We may try to reuse those somewhere else for something. Now she wants me to try, the whole reason we did that is because that tree is dead. So we took that fence down, the little, little bitty square fence that was around it. We took it down. She wants me to try to push the tree over because it's been dead for two years. I don't think this tractor is gonna be that strong. I don't think that's gonna happen, but we're gonna give it a shot. We'll see what happens. Okay, so yeah, y'all, it worked. Look at that. So I don't think she videoed when I was pushing from this direction. You can see my where the wheels were, but I pushed here probably five or six times first. And then when I moved over here, it was really just one good push. Got it. I'm actually kind of shocked. It actually worked. <laughs> I told him before I got over here, I said, I don't think the tractor's gonna be able to do it. But it's so dead, I think it's just so weak. If that was a live tree, it probably wouldn't have been able to do it. That's one we don't have to pay for either. <laughs> so we also have uh, one dead one right here and two over here. Now those are kind of tall. I don't know if I'm confident enough to uh, remove those on my own. We'll see. You'll hit a high line wire this way and yeah. the other way. Yeah, we'll hit a fence one way and a high line wire the other way. So probably, uh, probably need to get a professional to do it. So I thought I'd show y'all. The reason this tree died is because it got hit by lightning and you can see the lightning strike right here. And this happened back when my dad was still alive. And Papa said he, he knows when it happened, right? He remembers it getting hit. Yeah, he thought he did. He, he thought he knew exactly which storm it was and remembers the loud noise right outside the house. And so I don't know, he, he probably did, but that's pretty cool. I mean, it's not cool, but it is cool that Mother Nature took care of a tree on its own, even though we liked this tree, we wanted this tree because it, it's the perfect tree for shading this front door. So that's why it's there, is to shade that front door. And two years ago, she added this little pull down shade because the tree was de dead and no longer producing leaves. But she does want to replant, so she'll replant something there here pretty soon probably. Okay, y'all, I don't know how long that took, but it did not take very long. Um, Hopefully I didn't leave the water running though. I think I turned it off. That may have taken 15, 20 minutes. As a matter of fact, I'll put a timestamp when we finished and when we started. So we'll kind of know exactly how long it took. All right, these chickens are good, y'all. They are watered up. They're eating a little bit of what's left. They're not completely done eating, but the rest of them are over there in the shade. Well, I've found all my scoops, so that's good. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna come back for some with some food, okay? I'll feed y'all out here in a minute.
Give me a second. Okay, calm down. See, there's just enough for them to kind of pick up some of the leftovers. All right, we already watered them. They're good to go. Let's go uh, take care of, oh, you know what? I need to go get that sponge. Tanya sponge, I'm borrowing. I gotta clean uh, Donald's waterers out too because it looks pretty nasty. Y'all hungry? Well, you look hungry. Oh, I know you're hungry. You're always running over here. All right, so while they're eating, I can go ahead and clean these other two waterers. Um, they always have water. They don't usually run out of water, but I do need to clean it. So let's get that clean real quick. The black ones, this, they usually stay somewhat clean. They just have a lot of dirt in them. Can't prevent it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm glad I found this sponge. This sponge works pretty well. I just hope Tanya doesn't need it anytime soon. I gotta clean it. Yuck, look at that, it's all green. That's from the sun, y'all. White chicken, if you go in there, I'm gonna shut the gate and you're gonna be stuck this time. I'm not gonna let you out like I did last time. Five more, okay. You're in, we're good. Oh, Donald's after her already. Donald, you've already noticed she's in there, huh? Okay, y'all, I got both of these filling up. And one of my uh, white hens went inside. Y'all can't see that, it's blurry. I'll have to show you in a minute. Well, let me just back up, I guess. So yeah, she's all the way under the coop. And I told her, if you go in, I'm gonna leave you in this time. I brought her out last time because she was getting attacked by Donald. I don't know why Donald doesn't like my white chickens. But they are good to go. Clean water, plenty of food, and one extra hen for Donald. Okay, y'all, I got that taken care of. All the chickens are done for the day, except for collecting eggs. I will collect eggs later this evening. That I don't really show very often. I probably should. Y'all are probably more interested in how many eggs I get than me actually feeding them. Mima, for some reason, decided that she wanted to cut some of those limbs off of that tree instead of waiting until Brennan gets home and me and him could take care of it. So she's using her small saw. It's a pole saw. So she's cutting the smaller limbs off. And I told her, all right, well, if you're gonna do that, just cut off big enough sizes that you can load on the golf cart and you can move with the golf cart. Nothing too big that it's too strenuous for you to carry. So she said, okay, she would do that. So. She did tell me that she is going to plant two new trees, probably three to be honest with you. But the one in the front, right there in front of her house, she's gonna to dedicate to her husband, my dad, Papa, and she's gonna name it Bill. <laughs> so I'll let you guys know when that's done. And we'll probably talk about it more then. So let's go check on her though, see what she's doing. And after we check on her, I'm pretty much done videoing here for a little while because I really can't get anything else. Okay, Don. I really can't get anything else done in that closet until I go pick up more sheetrock. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go head to Norman uh, and pick up some sheetrock at Lowe's and probably go ahead and either price a door or pick up a door for that closet because that closet will have a door on it. And I'm pretty sure back when I framed it in, I'm pretty sure I framed it in correctly for a door because that one was going to be a door and the other one I was going to, just going to use as like cabinet doors if I remember right. We'll just have to see. So you're doing this with a hurt shoulder and you're going to be hurting later and you're going to be complaining and I want to say don't come down and I won't hear you complain. Okay, I've asked you not to do it and let me and Brennan do it. Okay, good uh, good decision, I think. These two little piles is plenty. That's a lot more work, Mom, than you think. And me and him can get it a lot quicker if we just 
take it in bigger pieces and load it on the tractor. Right? Okay. All right, well, hopefully she stays off that pole saw while I'm in Norman picking up some sheetrock. It's too hot, even though it's not even that hot. It's probably upper 80s today. Still too hot for a 74 year old to do all that kind of work. Me and Brennan can knock that out real quick, put it on the tractor and move it. Okay, y'all, I got six sheets of sheetrock. That should be plenty to finish out these closets. Got it strapped in pretty good, it's tight. That shouldn't go anywhere. But we're at Chick-fil-A in Norman, y'all. Let's go eat some lunch. Okay, y'all, so I unloaded the sheetrock right here. That was a total of six pieces, or three, I don't know. It comes in twos, but you can, but you can obviously pull it apart and buy a single. Uh, it is $13.48, and honestly, that's, not much different than it was pre-COVID. Pre-COVID was like eleven ninety six maybe or twelve forty eight. I can't remember. But if anything, it's only a dollar more, I would think. And I really, I know during COVID, I think sheetrock got up to nineteen or twenty four dollars a sheet, which was way too much. I didn't buy any sheetrock at all during COVID. I waited until it slowed down, and I think this is the same price I bought it at last time, which is about a year ago. So the price of sheetrock really hasn't done much. Um, I know when I first moved out here, I did buy sheetrock under $10. I bought it for like $9 and probably 48 or 98 cents. But I, I remember I was buying like 50 at a time, you know, so that could have been why. Uh, now I'm, I'm only buying six at a time or whatever, you know, and it's only 13 96, so that's not too bad. So you just saw that I stopped at Chick-fil-A to eat uh, lunch. So I ate the spicy chicken or the spicy Southwest, I think is what it's called there at Chick-fil-A. Really good salad. I really do like that salad. And I use creamy salsa dressing on it. It's really delicious. But y'all, I spent $14 at Chick-fil-A. $14. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I can go to Texas Roadhouse and eat a dinner, potato and salad and get a water for $14. Now I would have to leave a tip, but I'll leave a $2 tip, $3 tip, and eat that meal over Chick-fil-A. If these, if these fast food places continue to rise, I don't know how we're gonna afford them. So I don't know how they're gonna stay in business. So seriously, I mean, I remember when my kids were teenagers, I could give them $5 and they could eat. You can't even give a kid $15 now. I mean, literally, it's like tripled in price in like 10 years. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stick with uh, restaurants for sure because it's not much difference. The price difference is not dramatic. I mean, it's only a dollar or two more and you're gonna get way better quality food at a restaurant, usually. I got, I feel like I got a lot accomplished today. You know what, let me take you inside and show you the closet. I got that completely. Since I got home with the sheetrock, I did finish that one closet. So let's go show you that real quick. Okay y'all, so there's my one kind of mishap there. It's kind of a decent size gap. I can, I can cover that up without it being noticed. But you can see here, sheetrock in. I even got that side of the sheetrock in. All the way around, sheetrock. Uh, all the way to the bottom. I might tile just this one little spot. Really don't know yet. But, some bad news. They do not have a door this size. I know I originally talked about how I th thought I made this to where a door would fit in it. Well, I didn't. Tanya said, no, 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 we changed our minds and went with cabinets, you know, like a cabinet style door, like two, like a bi cabinet door here where it's a bifold. So I got a lot more to do in this closet. I still have to uh, tape, mud, texture, things like that. So, so we'll just keep adding this closet to future videos so you guys can kind of Watch me progress in this closet. The hot tub is clean, working good. It's testing good. The bubbles, let me show you the jets. All right, right there is full blast and, and you'll see it's, it's actually a really good hot tub when it's uh, running good. <laughs> we gotta make sure that door comes down. But it feels really, really nice, y'all. It really does. We've got in it the past two nights working really well but look yeah I have a real small leak it's keeping that area right there wet 
but I honestly think it's coming from right here because it's wet right under this hose. Well, this is not a hose, this is my electrical cord. So yes, I think it is leaking somewhere in this corner, probably under the filters. I'll just have to take this door back off and see if I can see where the leak actually is. So, all right, y'all. I think I've pretty much uh, done what I could in this video. There's a, a lot going on in this video. Hopefully it keeps you interested. Uh, hopefully you'll come back and watch our next one. Donald and his girls are doing good. Um, there's feathers everywhere, because Donald probably is chasing the white chicken that I left in there. They're all underneath. And let me show you their water. Oh, there's the white one right there. The water still looks good. Um, yeah, everything's good. All right, y'all, hopefully you enjoyed this video and come back and watch the next one. Remember to hit that like button, leave me a comment, and let me know what you think about the video. Remember, do the good. What? You know what sponge is at? Um, no, what sponge are you talking about? The one that's right here on the sink. Not the egg one. That's the right family farm. Come along and ride with us Through this life's journey we go through At the Fowler